everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video i am going to talk about perks of being in academia or perks of doing a good research and publishing in a good journal so if you're new to this channel i am madhu mishra i am a theoretical physicist i work on black hole thermodynamics in super gravity and in this channel i make videos about researchers life and life in academia so i would love if you would subscribe to this channel and also guys we are family of 1000 subscribers now so thank you so much for subscribing or if you haven't already please do subscribe so if you have seen my previous vlog that i posted on monday you already know that i am going to korea and if not then you must have read the title and waiting for me to explain so without further delaying let's start it. So I'm going to South Korea on 2nd of Jan and will be coming back on 22nd of Jan. I'm going on a academic trip plus I will be attending a winter school there. So I will be visiting two cities, Pohang and Daejeon. So I have been invited to give two talks at Asia Pacific Center for Theoretical Physics (APCTP) at Pohang. where i will give first talk on 5th of jan and my second talk on 19th of jan between this period i will be attending kavli winter school at dejon which is happening at institute of basic sciences in dejon from 8th from 9th of january to 18th of january so i'll come back on 19th and give my talk and then i will stay there for one more day and come back on 21st to reach here on 22nd Basically, I'm uh, leaving 21st night, so basically I will be there on 21st. So I'm reaching here on 22nd January. Now, how I got selected and how I got invited to give these talk. So it's an interesting story how I got this invitation for the seminars at Asia Pacific Center for Theoretical Physics in Pohang. So basically, there is a professor, and I was writing to him for postdoc positions. and he replied back very nicely that he doesn't have money to sponsor my post doc position but he does have some money to tr- support my travel and if i'm interested in coming there and giving a seminar he will be able to support the travel and before that i had applied for kavli winter school and kavli winter school doesn't provide for travel support and i was like some win 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 situation in case i get selected at kavli i will use this travel support to join the uh, to attend the kavli winter school as well because i would not have got travel support from anywhere in india because i was in transit uh, position basically i was leaving icer and joining cmi so none of the institute would have provided me travel support and this came as at such a wonderful time basically i was so lucky i was at the right place at the right time i messaged the right person at the right time so i got the travel support for the seminar and he had asked me to come visit korea for a week uh, in end of december and at that time i had no invitation from kavli so i thought yeah sure i will go to korea in case i don't get selected in kavli it's fine So basically, Club Kavli Winter School only select people who have published one paper in that year. So basically, that academic year. So because this Kavli is happening on twenty twenty three, so people who have published paper in twenty twenty two January to twenty twenty three will only get selected. Basically, not even in January because the selection procedure happens during October and November. So basically, from January twenty twenty two to November twenty twenty two. If you have published in that portion, you'll get selected. Also, publish in a good journal, then you'll get. There is a high chance that you'll get selected. So I got selected for Kavli Winter School, and so Kavli was not providing for travel. But then I asked Imtah, can I join these two uh, travel, this Kavli Winter School and the seminar? And because I was coming on a different day, he said I can't uh, combine these two trips because I will be joining in some other day and leaving in some other day. so he thought of this idea that i should give one talk on 5th then go back to kavli and come back on 19th and give another talk so basically i should start from pohang and end my journey from pohang so that he can provide for the full trip full travel so he's sponsoring my travel and my accommodation in pohang my food and everything in pohang and kavli will be providing or sponsoring for accommodation in dejon and food in dejon So full trip is sponsored, and that is a perk of doing a good research or being in academia. 
so that's there so i'm going to korea on second i am going i have prepared two talks basically one talk is only fully prepared second talk i will be preparing there because i had no time to make presentation here since i have come to chennai i'm just settling down i finally my home is in a working condition everything is working i have water and a fridge and everything everything is working now so that is a thing uh, as you have seen in my last vlog last vlog my first week in chennai and how i'm struggling to manage my visa application and everything settling down here now let's talk about my tickets so i have booked all my tickets from here to incheon which is the closest airport to seoul if you're going from india and uh, coming back also i have booked and i have booked a train from seoul railway station to pohang railway station and these things i have booked from my own money and they will be reimbursing it after i complete my visit so you should have a little amount saved in your account so that you can make such trip and then get it reimbursed so that is the situation right now i have booked my flights from here to pohang but i do not have any train booked from pohang to dejon that i will do after i reach there and that i might have to give uh, from my own account but there is a poss possibility that ictp is providing for kavli winter school now after everything was sorted out after people have booked their flight after they were applying for visa kavli uh, announced that ictp will be providing for your travel they will be booking for your tickets and if you have already booked your tickets they will reimburse so that is sorted out but lot of people said no and lot of people rejected the invitation because they had no travel support if they would have known earlier that this is a possibility that ictp will provide they would have gone right so that was not a good thing they i think that was a mismanagement so i booked all the tickets now for the visa part visa part i checked for consulate of south korea in india so there are three consulate one in delhi one in kolkata and one in chennai this i checked when i was in uh, trivandrum so i called them and they told me which city are you from i told them that i am in trivandrum and then they told me that you should visit consulate of korea in chennai because that is the closest and at that time i was planning to move to chennai so i thought once i reach chennai then only i will visit the korean embassy or korean consulate so i reached here on 6th then i got all my documents ready basically the employment uh, documents that i am employed at chennai mathematical institute and uh, my bank statement they need your bank statement all the print outs of invitation letter passport and everything and on 7th i went to the consulate and within a week i got my visa which was amazing and this happened only because this was i was invited from kavli so it took it didn't take any time and i have my visa now so i will be visiting today is 1st of jan so i am recording on 1st january happy new year and but you will be seeing this video in mid january when i am already in korea so i hope you enjoyed the video till here now i am going to talk about all the things that i am taking See the temperature here in Chennai right now is 30 degrees Celsius or 30 plus I will check and post it here somewhere and temperature in South Korea is below mi below minus 10 so it will go from minus 10 to minus 15 here, there so January is the coldest month of South Korea and I am going there so that that is going to be a complete temperature fall and I'm scared to death for my health because even when I visit from Trivandrum to MP, I get sick, I get cold because of the temperature difference. But this temperature difference is completely in a different uh, range. So I don't know how my body will react, but hope for the best. And so I have the things that I'm taking. So basically, I have three bags and one sling. I'm taking bag. this sling bag. It has my passport and photocopy of my tickets, um, visa. They didn't uh, stamp visa in the passport this time. They gave visa in a visa as a certificate in the website. So I have printed that out, and I will show that. And then I have my ticket printed out. I also have mask, which is very important. And then, of course, some cash. And then I have my passport. 
this is the basically because I submitted for visa so they have this stamp this is the reference number for them so that's that that is all in my sling bag which should be handy when I enter the pass uh, enter the airport so I will be leaving tomorrow at 4 o'clock in the morning because I my flight will take off around 8 o'clock so that's that then I also have this purse which will be inside my laptop bag uh, after I have entered everything, uh, I have 8 hour long layover at Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. So I am going to keep all my uh, this passport inside this bag. I am reading this book currently, What Alice Forgot, but I am not going to take the book. I have downloaded the book in my iPad. So I will be reading the book from my iPad. I am not taking the physical book because why to carry weight, right? Then of course power bank very important universal charges charger i'm taking universal charger because the indian uh, indian pins will not work out there so that is very necessary so you should have this i have my goggles there of course i have my pen box these things will go inside my laptop bag this has all my marker my pen and everything this is my laptop bag it's empty right now because everything is in charging but i do have my sanitizer here and one file which is all my documents not all my documents basically photocopies of all my documents uh, so i have my passport ticket invitation letter tickets for coming back visa certificate and vaccination certificate and copy of id card everything is here with a pen and a photograph that's there i went uh, yesterday or day before yesterday i got a korean currency also so i have korean currencies also i'll show you so basically one rupee is equal to 15 inr so i exchanged 5000 for 75,000 Korean won. 5,000 Indian rupees for 75,000 Korean won. I have divided my money in different pockets. So I'm just going to show you some of them. So this is the pack. And that is 10,000 Korean won right here. You should always divide your cash in different pockets. Do not keep all your cash at one place because if you lose that pack, everything is gone and i discussed this with my friend that where should how should i divide my money so i have some indian cash also because i might need to exchange it there i couldn't get korean won here i wanted to get more korean won uh, currency notes here but it's, it wasn't available in india so uh, my friend from korea he told me that the, this visa card ICIC credit card, visa card, they work there so you can use it at many places except for the bus and train. So for that I will use cash and for rest of that I have my credit card. Then my laptop, my iPad and chargers and universal charger, power bank, lot of chargers, lot of chargers. Okay then I have this that will be attached to my laptop bag because a long journey and also a very long layover so this will be nice for me to keep my head and sleep the thing that i'm taking is this a duffel bag it's big but not at all heavy because it has all my winter wear and once i reach seoul everything will be out because it has two jackets my muffler uh, my scarf what is my socks, beanie, everything wintry basically which I will need as soon as I reach the old uh, airport. And then I have my luggage which I am going to show you. So this is my luggage and in the luggage I everything is packed. So this bag has all my eating things because I don't know what I will get to eat. So then mostly I have cold things uh, all my jackets and sweaters and everything is here i have my shampoo and moisturizer and all these essentials here one more sunglasses and there also i have my shoes and my slippers and everything i'll just show you see everything is packed my slippers and everything shoes and everything is 
my boots are here i'm taking one boot one slipper and one shoes that i will be one shoes that i will be wearing uh, during the journey and one boot that i have packed here and a slipper so that's all in here i have soup and i'm taking this sweet kaju katli with which which i love uh, for professor and i'm taking actually two boxes of kaju katli one for the professor and one during the talk i will keep it there so everyone can eat then i have three soup packets uh different different flavors basically mancha hot and sour and veg mix this and then i have lot of biscuits basically packed like this and also some things that i have in my fridge is that i will be taking is this strawberry okay then i am going to cook some things and i will take that too so that's about it that's about my this thing so this is the bag that's the luggage not a very big luggage and everything there i'm I have to charge my laptop so that's that all right so I hopefully this video will help you decide what to pack and what not to pack for winter wear i am packing two coats specifically made for uh, south korea so basically i search what kind of coats or what kind of winter wear is a uh, design for south korea or what people wear in south korea during cold so it was suggested that they wear padded over coats so i have ordered two coats one which is around knee length and one which is like full below knee length so i'm going to post their pictures somewhere here and these are two things i'm taking along with lot of inner wear they are sort of loose so that i can like uh, layer it with multiple uh, jackets and sweaters and everything so i hopeful i'm hopeful that i will survive that cold i am scared for cold and food both of it so i discuss my experience after i come back from there and i hope that you like this video and find it helpful and must have given you some motivation to join academia because you get to get go on a sponsored trip and uh, meet so many interesting pe people i am going to kavli school and kavli has uh, there will be so many professors from all around the world which like their work i have admired for so many years they are coming there kumran bafa is coming and his i am always citing his work first slide is his work that stromiger and bafa has done this first microscopic counting of black hole entropy and he will be there so i will be meeting him and a lot more people will be there i'm so excited to go and meet them present my work at such a big institute in korea for the first time and i am also nervous about presenting uh, the talks will be for one hour each and uh, there will be lot of discussion also for hoping for some collaborations something will come up some positive but hey i'm starting my new year with such an amazing uh, journey so i'm happy and hope you all have a great year and hope to make more such videos in this, this year till then see you in my next video please subscribe share and like bye bye